Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back, and hope you're having an awesome day. And today I'm talking about the new Aurora HDR 2019. I know you're going, Jay hey Jim, it's 2018. It is, but uh, usually in the fall, like last fall, is when they launched Aurora 2018. And now, in the fall of 2018, they're launching Aurora 2019. Anyway, so all years aside, new version is coming out really soon. Pre-orders start BAM today, and uh, it's awesome. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, photos I've been making with it. I've been playing with this thing for about a week now, and there's a lot of cool stuff. Uh, upgrade is $49 for uh, current users to upgrade. Regular price is $59 for upgrade, and uh, new users can purchase for $89. Regular price for a new user would be $99. So you're saving 10 bucks, but you also get some new bonuses now. You're probably saying, okay, cool, tell me about all that stuff, and I will. I've got a, a link in my uh, to my blog down below. I've also got a link to where you can buy this right now by the pre-order on aurorahdr.com. Uh, if you use that link, it's an affiliate link. I make a couple of bucks, which is how I keep supporting uh, bringing out all these videos, and I'm gonna have a lot of videos about this because I'm loving it. I'm having a lot of fun. So HDR, let's talk about that real quick. High dynamic range. It's a style, if you will, a type of photography, I don't know how to define it, other than I love it, I think it's super freaking cool. Um, I've got 30 or so videos uh, here on my channel uh, on Aurora 2018, all of them are really still applicable. Now there's some changes to this new version, but it's not a wholesale overhaul in terms of how it works. There's some awesome new features that I think make the upgrade well worth it, and we're gonna dive into those in a second. The point is, you get lots of free training right here by me on YouTube anytime you want. So keep checking it out and coming back. Uh, now, let's see. Let's just uh, let's talk about some of the new features. The first thing you're going to hear about is Quantum HDR Engine. That's a new engine. So they've got an entirely new tone mapping algorithm and engine creating these HDRs underneath uh, the hood, so to speak. And that's where a lot of the change has occurred. And last year when it came out, I was like, wow, the results are so natural. It's amazing. They're even better now. Um, this is an AI or artificial intelligence powered engine and they spent countless hours, in fact years, in their AI labs at Skyloom Software developing this algorithm and this um, engine underneath and it's great. I gotta say, I'm loving the results I get and I'm gonna show you a few different photos. I'm not doing a full tutorial here because I did tutorials before and they take several videos. So this is a quick first look and that sort of thing. Um, let's see, we've got LUT support now built in with 11 LUTs included. You can now get uh, support for all your Photoshop plugins, which is super cool. Um, let's see, Smart Structure. This is the bomb. This is the coolest thing. There's a new uh, or renamed filter. Uh, it used to be called HDR Structure, the entire filter. Now it's called HDR Enhance and it includes Smart Structure and things like that, and you're going to love it. Um, let's see, what else? Presets. They're now called Looks. And uh, there's some nice ones built in. I'll show you that. And then the last thing about presets is my preset packs from the previous versions, they totally work. I've plugged them into this new one. They work awesome. So if you're a previous customer of mine for my presets for Aurora, and thank you if you are, put them in here. They work. So that's awesome. Um, ooh, yes, one more. I almost forgot. This is like my favorite. Adjustable gradient. It was called top and bottom tuning in the previous version. Now it's adjustable gradient, very much like Luminar, but it's got highlights and shadows in it. It's super freaking cool. I'm excited about this, as you can tell. Um, let's jump into it. Okay, here's the interface. Now, uh, the same kind of stuff, right? Batch processing or open a single image. You got your zoom. You got a before and after. You got a slider, uh, you know, left to right. Oops. Uh, you can also one-click zoom. Um, before and after. And this one's had a little bit of stylization. And that's one of the things I like about HDR is that you know, it's subject to interpretation. Uh, there's a lot of people that just have categorically said, you know, HDR, forget it. You know, they think it stands for highly disastrous result. I don't, I, I think it stands for high dynamic range, uh, highly defined reality. I don't know, let me make up some more stuff. I gotta, I gotta come back to you on that. Anyway, um, I like it. Uh, and whether you go extreme or you go gentle, you have that option in Aurora 2019. And the gentle application of HDR is easy because it's very natural and, and beautiful because of this quantum HDR engine. It's creating beautiful photos without artifacts. It reduces the impact or the visibility of halos in the photo. I mean, it's really working well. I'm excited. Uh, crop tool there. Here's where you get to what you used to call presets, which are now called looks. Let me show you. Uh, there's new categories and new stuff, right? 
Trey, of course, has his. Serge, of course, has his. Randy Van Dunen does some great architectural work. He's got a number of presets. And you can see my Road Tripper and Bella Italia packs right there. I just stuck them in there and bam, I'm just hammering away at photos with my presets because that's what I like to do. Okay, down the right-hand side, you got all the same kind of stuff, but here, let me show you what I did here. HDR Enhanced now has this smart structure. And as the name implies, if you've heard me talk about smart tone in Luminar, which is like coolest thing ever, um, smart structure, I can see the uh, the integration of AI more and more into their products. And you know, you might think, well, AI is taking over them, but I make my living editing photos or whatever. Um, Totally not gonna happen, I don't think, because it's gonna do stuff for you. It makes your job easier, uh, and they're smart, right? So um, it still takes the guiding hand that you have as a photographer to, to get the result you want. So anyway, smart structure. It applies structure intelligently, so it kind of figures out, oh, the walls in the street here really need it, and the sky doesn't really need it. So now, it doesn't mean it's foolproof 100%, and every single time you just jack it up to 100, and it's amazing. It does apply structure somewhat globally, but it seems to have a higher impact on the, like the walls in the street. So as I do this, you know, I, you probably can't tell uh, because it's a video and by the way, there's lights in the sky, but I'll show you in another photo. But regardless, smart structure is really cool. I, I was back down here. I want to keep it kind of gentle. Um, LUT mapping, you got all these LUTs built in. You just say choose LUT, you go grab one. And of course, as you mouse over one, it's going to apply that, uh, give you a look of what it's going to look like, right? So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, I like that classic one. That looks pretty nice in this photo. Um, I'm not going to go with any uh, any LUTs on this photo. Um, you've got adjustable gradient. Let me show you this bad boy. Look at that. Highlights and shadows. I just think that's so cool. And top and bottom, right? Just as before. That's bottom and that's top. So you can see I increase the exposure and the contrast a little bit in the bottom of the photo. Color toning, dodge and burn vignette. That stuff has been here. But, you know, I was able to go from that to that, just bam, real quick with just a couple of filter. I mean, what is that? One, two, five filters on a single layer. I didn't even have to do any uh, anything and, uh, you know, anything hard. So let me show you another photo. Okay, I mean, look at this one, like base photo. This is single exposure, by the way. And that's the other thing to keep in mind is the Quantum HDR engine works great on single exposures and on bracketed shots. So even if you don't fire brackets and do like true HDR multi-exposure bracket blending. Guess what? Single exposure goes from that to that in a couple of moments. And look at that. I mean, I just get excited looking at it. And it's my photo. Like I've seen it, you know, dozens of times, but I didn't even have to do very much. Look at this. Two filters, HDR basic and HDR enhance. And then I added a layer and I stuck a little bit of denoise. And I went from, you know, flat to fluffy, right? I went from blah, underexposed, kind of boring, to, I mean, look at that, super crisp on the mountains and the trees and the water in the sky, uh, just buttery soft. I love that. And so that's why I'm having so much fun with this. But that's a single exposure I wanted to show you. Let me get another one. Okay, here's another single exposure from Venice. I fire brackets, but there's often times and I'll just take a single exposure into Aurora. It works so well. There's the single exposure, right? You can look on the right-hand side. There, uh, The EXIF data is here. ISO 100, 25 millimeters at F22. I don't remember how many seconds it was. I don't get that kind of information in Aurora or in Luminar, but still, before, after. I mean, just bam, massive change. And base layer uh, and top layer with denoise. Base layer is just basic, color, HDR enhance, and a little bit of vignette. And then I stuck a layer on for denoise just to soften up the sky and the water. And you can see I made a massive difference in the photo. Literally, no time at all. I mean, so easy. That's like a five minute edit, right? Crazy. So that's what I'm saying is like the results I think are looking beautiful and natural. Let me uh, let me show you some more. Okay, here's a bracketed uh, interior architectural shot. Now, this is a restaurant, so not necessarily like you hear architecture for HDR. There's a lot of people that do real estate photography that, that uh, you know, use HDR for that, which makes perfect sense. This version is really going to help you with that along with Randy's presets that are built in. But... Um, this was just a restaurant in London that I passed, and it was three exposures. I set up on the tripod. I asked. I usually don't, but I was in the doorway. So I walked in, and there was someone at the bar. You can see her, and I said, can I take a photo? And they said, yeah. So I was like, set up my tripod and just act like I own the place. Um, that's the single or middle exposure, and there it is, HDR. Two filters, my friends. HDR basic, right? Boom. A little bit of contrast and smart tone, and then HDR enhance with this yummy HDR smart structure. And let me show you, I'll just drag that up. It was at 52. 
there it is at 100, right? So um, pretty crunchy, but not even overdone. It's smart. So it really does a great job of enhancing the structure, but it's not like cranking up you know, small details when you get that really over the top HDR look. That just looks like a really um, defined and a uh, photo with a lot of depth in it, right? Now, I was at like 50, I think, or something like that. I'll probably leave it there, but architectural photographers, I think you're gonna love this version. Let me show you one more. Okay, one more from London, and boom, this was, uh, let me show you. One, uh, I mean, before and after. This was actually two different single exposures, and, and here's a trick for you. Um, I was trying to get a double-decker bus passing on both sides at the same time and get a long exposure of it. It never happened. Um, they just didn't show up at the same time. So I just had my camera on a tripod and I was doing, I don't know, 10 or 15 second exposures. And basically what I did is I took two different ones and stuck them together. It was the exact same uh, f-stop and the same composition. I didn't move the tripod at all. So that's, um, that's the blended HDR and there it is uh, enhanced, right? And so it's not really an HDR, it's basically two separate single exposures that happen to match up perfectly because it's the same composition. Um, and boom, I stuck them together and I got some of the streaks on both sides. And here, what did I do? HDR basic, some color, that lovely HDR enhanced. Let me show you. Uh, look at all these buildings and it's kind of a rich amount of detail. Let me turn that off. A whole lot softer, right? So this is the uh, HDR structure, uh, smart structure that I'm talking about. Makes a big difference, I think, and I think it works wonderfully. And then I added a vignette as well at the end. But that's it. Um, that's, a, uh, that's a quick photo and more importantly, a quick tour of Aurora HDR 2019. Hit that link down below to get your copy. Reserve it now. It'll be available, I think, October 4th. It's just, a, you know, it's like two or three weeks out. But basically, pre-orders start right now. So hop on, get it for the discounted price, pick up some of the awesome bonuses that are included. And I'll also put a link down below to my blog if you want to read about some of the stuff I wrote about it. You'll see some similar photos and screenshots, but that's it, my friends. Have fun out there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, Leave me a comment, let me know, and we'll be talking soon, and I'll be back soon with more videos about Aurora HDR 2019. Get it now, get it while it's hot, la la la, all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, my friends. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, take care, and adios.